Hey guys, it's Gobo VR. I'm a 360 content creator and photographer, publishing 360 videos and tutorials here on YouTube. And this time I show you how to create this cool or funny 360 effect, which is an endless loop video with clones walking round and round. There are four main steps we are going through. First, we will record the raw material, create an endless loop of the walking video, then we create the clones in different stages of the path, and finally we make a rabbit hole or a little planet effect in quite an unusual but really powerful way. So let's jump into it. First I select a location. This time I pick up a simple location where there is nothing spectacular in the background, so we can focus on the effect itself. I put the camera on the ground. To create an inverted planet, which is actually what we are going for, the lower camera position is the better. So I put the camera on the ground using a tiny tripod. Then I start walking in a circle, trying to keep the same distance from the camera. The final result will look quite different depending on the distance, so if you are not sure what kind of look you are looking for, try to walk in a smaller circle first, then increase the distance after two or three rounds, and so on, getting further and further from the camera. But it's very important that you always need to record at least one or two rounds in the same distance. And if you don't keep the distance, the final result won't be perfect as the size will be changing, getting closer or further from the camera. But when I'm done with recording, I import the raw INSV files into Premiere, I create a new sequence from the video and start editing. I will show you two variations, creating the effect when I'm walking a little bit further and closer to the camera. Starting with the further one, I pick up the round I prefer. I have a small jump here which will look nice in the sequence. To create an endless loop, I have to find the perfect moment to cut. It means that I try to cut a moment from the beginning of the round to the end of it, and they have to match perfectly. As I was walking round and round keeping the distance, it's not so difficult. I try to match the movements at the cut, and when I'm done, the endless loop is created. I can copy and paste this unit as many times as I want, and the transition will always be seamless, looking like I was walking around here forever. Now as the endless loop is created, it's time to create the clones in different stages of the scene. The further you walk from the camera, the more clones you can create. So this time there can be even 8 or 9 of them, but I will see it during editing. First I duplicate a unit of the endless loop I created and animate a mask all along the scene. I turn off the layer on the bottom, so I can see the borders of the mask perfectly, creating this spotlight looking mask. It's quite simple for a while, but when I arrive to the frame border, I have to add a second mask. To make it simple, I make a cut here, add a second mask and animate both of them until I finally leave that line totally. Then I make another cut, delete the first mask and continue animating the second one. Of course it depends on you how you solve this problem masking things at the frame border. You can create two masks right in the beginning and pull one of them out of the frame until you reach the point when you need it. But this is just my way, how I do this. When I'm done with masking, I nest this unit, so I can copy it without messing up anything. And even more, I can modify the mask anytime later, and it will be changing in all of the copies. Then I just simply put these units after each other to create a longer sequence. Now I have the same endless loop video on top of each other, with and without masking. I turn on the bottom layer again, and then I shift the upper one a couple of frames backwards. The amount of the shifted frames depends on the size of the talent in the scene. And here you can see I have two people walking on this field. Then I repeat the same process a couple of times, copying, pasting and shifting the same units. I always use the same amount of shift, so there will be a constant distance between the clones. 
Depending on the camera distance we can create more or less clones, and of course we can modify the amount of the shifting anytime it's needed. But it's quite an easy job and it's a great fun playing around with it. Here is another example when I was walking closer to the camera. As you can see I could only create 5 clones following each other in a comfortable distance. In the previous case I moved 1 second 22 frames each time, but now it's only a 1 second and 10 frames shift. But finally when I'm done with cloning, here comes the magic. I reframe all the sequence using a different technique than I showed you in my previous videos. I create an adjustment layer and drag it over the whole sequence. If you're interested about the basics of the workflow, check out my previous tutorial when I talk more about reframing multiple 360 video layers with one single adjustment layer. But now let's jump into it using another reframe plugin. This time I will use Reframe 360 instead of the ordinary GoPro VR reframe just to show you how it works. I just simply apply this effect on the adjustment layer and open the editable camera parameters tab. I turn on tiny planet view and setting the pitch around 90 degrees, I turn my virtual camera to the sky. And then I zoom out a little bit. And that's all, here is my rabbit hole view for this scene. And as I'm working on an adjustment layer, this plugin affects all the layers below. So I don't have to copy and paste this reframe plugin and all of the changes I make will affect all the layers in real time. Even more, I can turn it on and off with one single click, for instance when I'd like to modify the mask. So as you can see the infinite loop is done, looking like I was walking around the rabbit hole forever. And using the short unit I created I can make this loop video longer or shorter anytime, only by adding or deleting a couple of it on the timeline. It's that easy. Or as the adjustment layer affects all the layers underneath, I can create a tiny planet loop really quickly. I just modify the pitch turning my virtual camera to the ground and maybe I play around with the zoom a little bit and that's all. I hope you like this funny little technique. It's only a couple of minutes to shoot and really easy to edit and it looks really fun. So if you like this tutorial please thumbs up and for further 360 content and tutorials please subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you next time!